Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumbley. Welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be talking about what you need to do as we get ready for Team of the Season coming out. And at the start of Team of the Season, how you guys can make some coins and you can profit off the packs. So if you guys do enjoy this, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to show you how you can make these packs with League SBCs and when the best times to open it are. So yeah, let's get right into it. So if you guys are watching this video and it's before team of the season, just know that it is confirmed that we are getting two different team of the seasons together. We have the team of the season community and we have the EFL team of the season. Now, typically in past years with the EFL, it's very common and very likely that we are going to probably get a bronze card that you can pack as a team of the season and potentially some silvers as well. So if you guys are a bronze pack method person, if you guys have bronze upgrades or like to open silver packs through league SBCs, it is going to be best for you guys to hold on to these silver packs until this comes out. Now, I'm going to show you a super easy way to build these and then we will go into a trading tip later since the whole market is in the mud right now. It's very hard to make coins with the current market. Um, so you got to pick a league to do. Um, my recommendation is right now, just kind of store cards if you have them. If you're not doing a certain league SBC, I would wait to sell. Right now, people are in the process of making packs, but when Team of the Season comes out, a lot of these league SBCs are going to shoot up in price because people will be making packs as they need it. So the value of these will go up. So for me, I like to do the Saudi. It gives you a rare players pack, which is a 50k pack, 12 rare um, gold players, and you get a lot of decent packs throughout. Now, it's not the best packs in the world, but you get a lot of silver players which in turn is gonna give you a lot of coins once we open these up and they shoot back up in price and we could potentially get a team of the season tradable. Same thing with bronze cards. We're gonna be spamming the bronze pack method when that starts. Um, right now you can do it, but since card prices are so low, it's gonna be hard to drive a profit. So how do I recommend you do it with the Saudi? If this is the league you select, I would kind of set it up this way in terms of picking up the cards. If you go to the market and we go to the Saudi section, we can check to see what a majority of the cards are going for. And it's typically everything that's not a goalkeeper will sell for at least 200 coins. As we see here, a lot of goalkeepers are going to the last minute. But when we get to a position that's not goalkeeper, it's a little bit in. Even there, 10 minutes left, we don't see it. So what we'll do is we'll go position by position um, by defense, midfield, and attacking. We'll do a max price of 150. If you want to put a minimum by now, you can. But here is where you'll be comparing price or just bidding in general. So center back here you can look see how much he goes for next lowest buy now is 500 coins so a 200 coin bid would make sense go to the next card three minutes left on this one if we look at the lowest buy now it looks like 750 to now that one 450 coins we'll place a 200 bid. now what i like to do is i typically go through and i'll just place a 200 bid on everything worst case scenario we sell for 250 or we sell for 300 coins um, even though it's not a lot of profit this is more going to be the baseline getting you cards to do this league SBC. If you're able to make 150 bids, please do it for 150. Price is always gonna change, but you're gonna wanna check the buy nows to make sure. If you do get a duplicate, you're indeed able to sell it on for profit. But this isn't gonna be the main trading tip. This is just gonna be the way you're gonna build these SBCs as we lead up to team the season. Now, when we get to team the season time, there is gonna be a lot of changes of prices of cards. Right now, like I explained, the bronze and silver market is in the mud. So if you're wanting to make coins in the moment, I would recommend the specials trading tip. Now, I believe this is the first higher end trading video I've done on the channel. So if you guys like these, we can do more of them. This is a very common one. It's special trading, um, 10, 20, 30. Basically, you just do a minimum price of 10,000, max price of 20,000, and a minimum buy now of 30,000. This is gonna give us a lot of cards with open bids. And essentially, you're just gonna compare price, see what's a good deal or not. This one, it looks like the lowest buy now is 16K. If you wanted to, you could place a 1450 bid down. If you wanted to try to sell this for 17,000, 18,000 to lazy buyers, you could get some coins off of that. You're essentially just gonna go through, look at which cards you think would be a good pickup. This guy looks like his lowest buy now is currently 14,000 coins. If we pick him up for 10,750, we could probably sell him for around that price. Make about a K or so. You just want to go through and compare price with cards that are in your range. Now, if you want to do it with more coins, you essentially can change the 10, 20, 30 to 20 for 60. You can open it up to a minimum price. One of the things I like to do is once I have millions of coins, 
I will do something like let's do 200 and do 200,000 coins. Minimum price, no buy nows or anything. Just kind of check the market to see what's open with a bid. If nothing's available, I'll change it by like 10,000 coins or so. Go down to 190 because sometimes cards just don't show up in the filter. Kind of like right here. And this will be another example of ways to look for buy nows. So this one, 315 bid. If we look at the lowest buy now price, it looks like, what's that? 325, 345, I should say. This might actually be a deal. Okay, so if we go to 345, let me get the calculator up real quick. 345,000 times 0.95. If we can pick this card up for 327,000 coins or less, it will be profit. So we'll try to do up to 320,000. That way we can make at least 7K in the card if we want to sell it for the lowest buy now price we saw. However, this card might go up and down over time. So this would be something where if you know the market trend or you have foot been open, you could get it for more, you could get it for less. Um, and eventually you learn player prices over time. I don't have too much experience in this area, or at least I haven't in a while. Um, so I would not trust necessarily myself with the prices. I would start learning them yourself. And then as we get into team of the season, you can see if cards are going up and down and then win them accordingly. Uh, but yeah, that is basically going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this, feel free to smack the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'm just going to show you my team now as we get ready for team of the season and essentially what I am looking for. So I would love a first owner team of the season player that I could put in my squad, have them in the bench. In terms of the community team of the season and the EFL, I don't think there's really going to be too many cards that will fit my current squad and the kind of the meta that the game is now playing um we should be good for the most part but if we can find a way to fit them in we will find a way to fit them in i was thinking if we got rid of yasin we could see a card like the areola in goal i would love to get him if he was like a 90 plus rated goalkeeper that'd be a really cool card to fit in he'd link uh um alexandre um and he would also be a link to robertos because he is an icon so something like that would work I'm excited for Team of the Season. Let me know who you guys want to pack. And we will be grinding every single day on YouTube for this when it comes out. Make sure you follow the channel, subscribe, and put those notifications on so you can stay up to date. We have the Discord in the description as well. If you want to join the Discord, we're always putting post notifications on in there. Checking your guys' teams, putting trading tips, talking to you guys on a daily basis. So feel free to check that out. We also are streaming on Twitch as well. Typically, we're doing gameplay on Twitch for FIFA, and then we're playing other games. If that is something that you want to check out, our Twitch is also in the description. Same as the YouTube, it's Mumble Elite. So yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully you guys have a good team this season. And hopefully you guys have really good pack luck because I'm hoping we get really good pack luck. We have over 100 packs and I'm excited. But yeah, I'll see you next time. It's been your boy Mumble Elite. I'm out. Peace.